and Joe coming from Ghana. <coughs> we picked 12 things I learned in hell. I randomly picked page 73. And let's go. A very impulsive A very impulsive person does not play the tape out. Let me give you a perfect example through the story. An imperson impulsive decision would be this. Renting an apartment in California for six months and random mall space in Spokane, Washington for a year. Not playing the tape out. If you don't know where these, distance, these two distances are, they are about a 15-hour drive and two and a half hours in an airplane away from each other. Only an impulsive person would do something like that because he's not playing the tape out. I'm not two people. I'm only one person. It is literally impossible for me to be in two places at once. Impulsive decisions. When you're running into the wall and you're not understanding that you're running into the wall, you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. You're not playing the tape out and you're being very impulsive. If you do not slow yourself down to analyze every decision that, you, that you're about to make, then you're going to make a bad decision. It might not look like a bad decision in the beginning, but over the long haul, it will be a bad decision. All right, so either which one of y'all? All right, so a very important person does not play the tape out, right? So with this, with this, with this code or with this, with this very yeah, random page, what he's trying to say is playing a tape out is you actually watching all, paying attention to all the small things that actually add up to make whatever you're doing. So if it, 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 just like you said, the distance between um, um, Washington and I think was it California. Yes, California and Washington is about 15 hours drive, and it's like two and a half hours of flight. So if if I live in California, and then I want to work in in Washington. Then it means I didn't play the tape out because it's a fifteen-hour drive. How am I going to make make it to work every day? How am I going to be able to get make a two-hour um, two-hour fifteen-minute flight there and back home every day? And if I want to drive, how do I drive fifteen hours to work and fifteen hours back? That tells you I'm being very impulsive. Um, that tells you yes, I'm being very impulsive because I did not play the tape out. I cannot take time to break down and then know that these are two very far away uh, cities, right? So in order for me to be able to work, to live in California and then work in Washington, I should be able to do that if I'm going to work, right? So being impulsive, is, uh, being impulsive and not playing a tape out is you not paying attention to every little bit of detail that you have to put together before you make a decision. Do you have anything to add, Ben? Uh, I'll go with what Joseph has. <laughs> yeah, and I remember that. I mean, it was stupid because there was, and because it, I, I, so this is what would happen. So I, I'd go up to Washington, and I'd be there for the week. Like Mon I'd leave Monday, and leave, and then I'd fly back on Friday because you know I wanted to be back for the weekend. So what was happening is when I'd fly up to Washington, everybody was robbing me blind. In California right using my cars doing this doing that I you know what what do you what do you what will you Joe you you said one thing when when the cats got when the cats gone the mouse party the mice, the mice get to rejoice when the cats gone away yeah so exactly when when I was gone the mice would party and then when I was back in California cleaning up the mess down there then I was being robbed blind up in Washington and so, and anywhere I went, and, every, and then when I get there, everybody, it's like everyone, like everyone teamed up with themselves to come up with one story, and then they tell me, and so either I was being lied to on both sides of the story, it was impossible, it, but it was, and then it created more impulsive decisions, and then voila, I was broke. All right, let's kill that one, Tony.